Welcome back. My name is Brian Roshetsky. Thanks again for watching. I can't express how amazed I am. All of my passions rolled into one. A snowboarding trip to Giga, Texas. I hope you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification because this was one of my favorite times at Giga, Texas. And I hope you enjoy. So check it out. All right, Elon Musk, this is it. I should be the Cybertruck Adventure Photography Specialist. We're gonna get hit the snowboarding. We got Giga Texas in the background. We got the snowboard strapped up and ready to go. Here we go, boys and girls. We're gonna hit this jump. So when I woke up in the morning, I really had no idea what to expect. And when I opened the front door, I almost cursed out loud. They're reporting that a snow event like this hasn't happened in Austin, Texas since about the 1800s. And I preach about climate change over and over and over. And you know, there's winners and there's losers. Some of us can take advantage and have fun, but a lot of us are hurting with these extreme weather fluctuations. So, uh, I don't know what else to say, honestly, but it, this is crazy. Well, it's a snow day. Sun's rising. I got the electric car out. The Mazda wouldn't start. F yeah, I, well, screw ice cars. Mazda wouldn't start. So, I'm gonna take the old electric car, and we're gonna have a snow day in the electric car. I've got the snowboard, and ready to rock and roll. Peace. Hey guys, I'm, I can't guarantee that we're gonna make it to Dika, Texas. I really can't. That dropped down to 56. Oh, it's 11 degrees outside. This is definitely gonna be that cold weather test for the Kia Soul EV. Driving the electric car in the snow has been amazing. The regen braking, oh my God. That's the number one reason why everyone gets into a wreck is because they don't have regen braking. So when they let off the gas, they just keep on going. And that regen, oh, it's nice. But uh, we're almost, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're definitely gonna make it. Get an electric Hummer! You got 
to test the limits. If you don't test the limits, then you won't know how to react when something does happen. But, oh, the car reacts fine. change is real and you need to get an electric car but if you can't get an electric car that's okay the rest of us will get the electric cars we'll start changing the world that way we can make it cheaper for everybody else let's go do some snowboarding at giga texas first time snowboarding in austin texas never thought i'd snowboard in austin and i never thought tesla would have a giga factory here but it looks like 2021 keeps getting weirder and weirder. And well, Austin, Texas is home of the weird. So keep Austin weird. Let's go hit some snowboard jumps. I think one of the reasons why the Cybertruck makes so much sense to be in Austin, Texas is that the Colorado Rockies are a very short distance drive from Austin, Texas. We have some of the best snow in the entire world right here in the southern Colorado Rockies with 54, 14,000 foot peaks higher than any other peaks of the highest concentration in all of North America. We see high snowpack, high altitude powder that can stick in the Colorado Rockies for days on end. And when all the rest of the powder in North America is gone, you can always find powder trails in places like Wolf Creek, Silverton, and Durango. So check out the Colorado Rockies. Let's get to snowboarding. Can't wait for the Cybertruck.
After spending the entire day with a front-wheel drive electric Kia, I decided that the dual motor Cybertruck that I ordered is going to be far more sufficient and far more than enough than anything I've ever wanted. Simply having the all-wheel drive of an electric Cybertruck is going to be a game changer in my outdoor adventures. I hope you stick with me and I hope you follow all my journeys because as soon as I get the Cybertruck, we're going nationwide following snow, traveling to beaches, mountaintops, valleys, and everywhere in between. We'll go to every national park in America and explore all of the backcountry that has made America great while doing all of it under the power of batteries.
Thanks so much for watching my Giga Snow Day video. I want to give a special thanks to my newest Patreon supporter, Tyler Schaefer. Thank you so much, Tyler. Your support and every other Patreon and every other supporter out there. Thank you very much. Your support really has made this channel grow to what is possible today. And I will keep bringing more up-to-date content. So if you think this video has brought you value as well, think about supporting me on Patreon because it's people like you that really keep this channel going. So thanks again, have a great day, and we'll see you next time at Giga Texas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's blowing up. It really is, cause like the, we got the Tesla factory, Amazon. Um, I heard there's gonna be another. Um, what's that called? Uh, a domain thing, like the domain, in Round Rock somewhere or something. So. Yeah. No. And that's, uh, that's eight miles from my house. Oh, sorry. I was starting to freak out. It said card rejected, card rejected, card rejected. And then on the fourth one, it worked. Oh, you got it? Yeah, it worked. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I had trouble with that one. Turn the heater on now, now that we're charging. Yeah, yeah. This is good stuff for my YouTube channel right here. I've never seen, hardly ever see this many uh, electric cars, much less on a snow day. I was starting to think maybe the power could be out because I heard there were going to be rolling brownouts or whatever. Yeah, that's what I got hit with. They're doing rolling blackouts. Right yeah, yeah. There must be a leak. come here last night, get some groceries, and charge my car. Yeah, oh, well, you got the CCS. Late. And then there's a bunch of ice frozen on my windshield stuff, and I was like, oh, I have to wait for this to melt because I don't have an ice scraper. <laughs> and uh, that you didn't happen in time. I, luckily, I parked in my garage, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, I didn't want to use anything metal because I just or, no, just plastic. Windows, yeah.
Yeah, the for plastic for card. Wrapping. That's so funny. I'm from Michigan. Uh, you think I know that? <laughs> but I always had two ice scrapers in my car. And you yeah. Them at the same time. Right? Yeah. Right. You don't. You don't have your setup for the thing, and then when you're not in that, you don't have your setup. Yeah. yeah. I use an oven mitts for gloves today. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I was telling him, I'm from Texas. It snows once every seven years. Uh -huh. I've never known it to snow twice in one year. Yeah. yeah that was, this yeah. is unreal. It didn't snow at all last year. That was the first winter I was here for. Oh, what was your name? Alan. I'm sorry, Alan. Alan. Brian. Hey, Brian. Good. Good put, you, you. put you in the YouTube video for us there. You got it. Say hi to everybody. Hey, hello. Take care. Thank you. You as well. Maybe we'll get a bunch of views. You got it. <laughs> What's up? My name's Sass. Uh, I'm running for U.S. House of Representatives down here in Texas 2022. You can go to voteforsass.com. V-O-T-E-F-O-R-S-A-S-S.com. Be sweet. Appreciate you letting me plug myself. That's awesome. I did not know that. <laughs> you dropped that on me quick. Uh, we are not affiliated with any political uh, parties, but yeah. this was on the cusp. So check them out. That was really cool. I don't even know about it, but he's really cool and drives electric car, so I'd vote for him. Hell yeah! Okay, right. We're here in Austin, Texas. We're fast charging at HEB, and I'm here with Sass. He's running for the U.S. Uh, representatives, House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just wanted to ask, what do you think about uh, Tesla and the Tesla Gigafactory moving here to Austin? Generally positive. Uh, of course, you know, I'm not a fan of, uh, you know, the, all the internal combustion engine, all the other, I guess, automakers lobbying um, Texas legislature to, to make it illegal for manufacturers to sell directly to consumers. Um, that was, uh, you know, they, they've had a couple wins over the years. I think that that will change. Um, of course, the business is appreciated. Uh, you know, there is, of course, the issue of just that, that might lead to further gentrification of Austin. So it's, you know, it's obviously a mixed bag. Um, you know, I, I, I like the business. Um, Tesla is uh, pretty environmentally friendly with just about everything that they do compared to other companies, except, of course, their recent uh, $1.5 billion in Bitcoin that they bought. That was, I think, a very negative, at least in terms of environment, uh, environmental sustainability. Um, but, but yeah, I, I still say generally positive at the end of the day. Um, you know, the Cybertruck, uh, I think, is, is going to be a big, could potentially be a big hit. Um, in, in Texas, I think that'd be really cool um, to just have more, uh, just, just more EVs on the road. And that's what we need. We need more, more. Yeah, hold on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You see more uh, yeah, charging infrastructure. Um, you know, it's kind of a chicken and egg problem. So you know, the 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 more the merrier. I say at the end of the day. A little closer, a little closer. It's to that hook thing. I don't know about his thing. Did you latch that or did you? No, it, I mean, it looks like it's in there. He did it, yeah. It looks like it's it's a thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight, straighten the tires, yep. Brake. Oh, shit, I just stuck a 
over here. Gutter crevasse. Hit it from the top. Uh, <laughs> the gutter crevasse. Jump the gutter crevasse. Don't fall in the crevasse. Oh!